Hello guys, Vlad here from Model Theme. We are at the beginning of our series on how to deploy your own NFT marketplace using WordPress, our NFT WordPress theme, the NFT core plugin, and the NFT related add-ons that we have developed. Now, if you find this content interesting and useful, you should probably subscribe and click on the notification button to be the first to know when a new video lands. Today we're going to install Model Theme's NFT WordPress theme and then we will import one of our dozen demos to get the ball rolling. So let's go! If you're inexperienced, in order to avoid conflicts and errors, it's best to start with a fresh WordPress install, which is in fact what we will be doing in this tutorial. We won't be covering the WordPress installation on your domain, as there are literally thousands of tutorials showing this. The first thing we will do is to install the theme. In order to do that, we head over to the themes options in the top bar, the same option is available in the sidebar under Appearance. Next thing to do is to click on the Upload Theme button and then click Choose File. We do this because we want to install the theme we downloaded from ThemeForest. In the archive from ThemeForest, there are three folders. Documentations, Plugins and Theme. Go inside the Theme folder and choose NFT Zip. Hit Open and then click the Install Now button. Once we see theme installed successfully, we know that the theme is installed correctly. Now do a little check to see if all is good with the website and no errors show. If it looks anything like this, you're doing it right. In order to have a good starting point for your NFT marketplace, you'll have to install the required and recommended plugins. So head over to the dashboard and click on the Begin Installing Plugins. So go ahead and check the top box that selects all the plugins in the list and scroll down and uncheck what you don't need. For the full functionality marketplace, we won't be needing WFCM Marketplace, the Wishlist plugin and the Advanced Filter plugin. Now select Install from the drop-down menu and hit Apply. After the installation is done, click Return to Required Plugins Installer and go over to the To Activate option. Select all the plugins by checking the topmost checkbox and select the Activate options from the drop down menu. Hit Apply and wait. We can see that all the plugins were activated successfully, so the next step is to do the first configuration of WooCommerce. At this point, whatever tab you click on the dashboard, this screen will open. We're not getting into that at the moment, so we just hit Skip and opt in or out of their usage tracking program. We should check that the site is still functional and no errors appear. The site is now ready to be populated with articles and content. It's mandatory to activate your theme in order to install a demo package. In the newly appeared theme panel, head over to the License Manager, paste the license code from your theme for its download section, and then click Activate. Once the theme is activated, the page will reload and you'll see a message confirming it. To start importing demo content, head over to the Demo Importer option. You can see the dozen or so demos available using the WordPress Bakery Builder. The theme is also compatible with Elementor and you have the instructions on how to get it there. I'm going to import the main demo, which is using WordPress Bakery. Click on the Import Demo button, then click OK. The demo import can take anywhere between 2 to 10 minutes, depending on the size and your host bandwidth allocation. It's important to check the documentation to see the server requirements, so that the process takes as little as possible and that the website load times are as low as possible. Ok, so just grab a cup of your favorite hot or cold beverage and wait for the process to end. Once the progress bar reaches 100, your demo content is imported. Your site should look exactly like the main demo, so let's go see it. Right. 
Right now you have a great looking website that you are ready to make your own with your name, your logo and your content. At this point it goes without saying that if you've enjoyed the content or found it useful, it will help a lot if you subscribe to our channel or just left a comment with what you'd like to see from us next. A share would also be very helpful. Your site looks great. It has all the menus and the sections and all the required plugins are installed. So you're ready to continue with the rest of the important plugins. We will be doing this in the next episode, so see you soon. Cheers!